So your plant-based diet like seagull scrotum six. You definitely get no octopusy seven. But you make it work. Hey buddy. Hey little buddy. Uh, so we should talk. What is a plant-based diet supposed to mean? Could mean anything. We gotta set some boundaries here. Where's the perimeter fence line over here? Let's make a discovery today. I am a vegan. You are a loser. So a plant-based diet has to be the least defined diet since the age where Hercules made us. It could mean anything. I remember the first conversation between a regular guy and a plant-based guy in year six. Hey Bork, how come you're not eating dinner with the tribe? What is that? Oh, I'm plant-based now. You guys are criminals? No, I don't really eat like you. I'm better? Well, you don't like the pork face? What do you eat? Well, I'm plant-based now. So, you know, wheat, bodies, meat, sugar, gluten, corn, bread, women. I don't know, it sounds just kind of like a regular diet. You just eat anything. Well, yeah, you could say that, but I eat a lot of plants, like broccoli based, a lot of meat and animals, and women, but like based in broccoli. Like look at my plate, that's 90% broccoli, just some women. You'll burn in hell like the rest of us. The problem with a plant-based diet, most people here plant-based, they think 100% vegan. I don't know how you're drawing that connection. All these vegan documentaries are throwing around the term plant-based like it's their vegan word. When it's, hey little buddy, hey little buddy, what are you eating there? What you eating little bird? What is that? Okay, you can have it. I think we need to determine what a plant-based diet is right here today. It's gotta, there's gotta be a limit to the amount of animal products you can consume. It's gotta be less than 10% of total calories, I would say. It should be less than that, 5%, really. But really, it, hey squirrel, uh, you distracted me. I saw his tail in the corner of my eye, it excited me. I'm in the ghetto, I'm in the ghetto. It looks like a nice park, but bad things happen here at night. That's all I know for sure. In my opinion, the best diet on earth is a plant-based diet, abundant in fresh produce. Maybe a tiny bit of animal products here and there, but vegans are hijacking our word. All the best evidence points towards that. Most of the plants, a little bit of fish here. Some cultures eat whatever meat they have local that they raise themselves. You can't take my word. It's plant-based. That's the real one. That's the one that people accept out in the real world. Plant-based people aren't the pushy, stabby ones. Oh, you ate an egg? Your mother should kill you. You're vegan and you have a cat? I hope that cat bites your neck and drinks your blood. How would you like that, huh? wasn't a lot of danger in that one. The plant-based potluck is where normal people go to hang out. Everybody brings a little dish, a little rice and bean dish, a casserole, a little sushi there. We, we don't freak out. <gasps> Janice, is that fish? What do you do? Just leave. Just leave. Unsub from the email list, bitch. I myself feel so fantastic lately. The last couple months I've been on fire and it's just, I don't restrict myself. I'm plant-based. I have fish every once in a while. I've done a little experiment the last nine days now, 100% vegan. I still feel on fire. I still feel good. I might not need the fish, but if I start feeling that fatigue, I jump right back in that pool of life. I get myself some sushi. I'm not gonna withhold and be, oh, I'm vegan 100% no matter what, and ignore my body's signals. If it's crying for fish, I'm jumping in that. How do you jump in a fish? You can't, I would teach me. I have so much energy lately and my mood's been so good. I'm going to an appointment right now. I'm walking there. It's like four kilometers away. I'm like, yep, let's go. I'm got spunk out the yin yang. I just feel so good. Thank you. What does this have to do with anything? Point is, I better pick up the pace. I'm supposed to be there at 1130. Been dilly dallying, making videos. I'm going to be late. Help. Help me. So vegans kindly step off my plant-based mat of life. You're welcome here, but just, you're dirtying up my mat. You smell like sandalwood. You're a hippie. Okay, 
Look at all this growing in downtown. Just kale and cabbage everywhere. Wow. <laughs> No. No. Cranberries. They're edible. Raw. They're kind of good. They're not sweet. They're pretty sour. Don't expect the blueberry in your mouth, but totally. Kidney tonic. Super high in oxalates. Kidney tonic. Freaking freaks. Oxalates heal bladder six. It's funny, I'm acting like plant-based dieters are this more accepting group than vegans. Didn't I start off the whole group that, well, we have to label it. How much plants you eat? We have to label it. If you don't eat 80% plants, you're out. I'm a, I'm a walking contradictory. That's why. That's why you love plant-based. It's plant-based and incredible. Wow. It's so healthy. It's made of corn and wheat and soy. So, oh my God. Nobody cares. It's a good part of the show to bring a small amount of value to this video. Plant. What the hell was that? What, what did he say to me? <laughs> when it comes to plant based diets versus vegan diets for health, what's healthier? The entire exclusion of the animal kingdom? Or a little? In my opinion, it's safer to include a bit of animal stuff. Healthy, sourced, wild if possible. Be careful with the names though. Wild boar? Not wild. They're farmed. It's just the species. What kind of mind trick is that? I bought wild boar in Thailand. I was like, of course it's wild. It's a wild boar. Farmed wild boar. What the hell is that? Same thing with wild blueberries. You think, oh, they got wild blueberries. They're farmed. Possibly sprayed with pesticides. It's just the name, wild. You can get organic wild blueberries. It's just a name. Don't let a name run your life, you vegan hippie. I'm not gonna lie, I feel fantastic nine days into my vegan diet, but how long will that last? I've been building up fish reserves. And that's what I've been running on. How long will those fishies last? There's certain nutrients that just I don't know, it's just safer. You might be able to thrive 100% vegan, but you for sure will be able to thrive plant-based with little bits of fishy fish. I actually think my brain functions worse on the vegan diet. I'm stumbling my words more without the fish. I notice, I feel it. Uh, I need the DHA. And the EPA. How come nobody talks about EPA? That's the more important one. That's the one that is responsible for cooling inflammation. Ridiculous. We're downtown. You know something not a lot of people talk about? Omega-3. I think only the plant version is the essential one. ALA and LA. Omega-3 and Omega-6, they're essential. DHA and EPA aren't the essential ones. You need the parent form, I think. You will convert some to DHA, but we need the plant one. So if you just have fish version, you're not getting the full thing. So technically speaking, this heavy ass glass container full of sock tasting papaya is full of the right kind of omega-3. It's got the parent essential oil. Whereas if you ate fish, you don't have that. Or is it in there? I found it. I found it. And now we finish off that meal with some local organic arugula. Freaking pepper-like. Super healthy meal, but it's lacking in many essential nutrients. B12, none. Zinc, low. DHA, so No, none. The apparent omega-3s, it's in there. Can I convert it? I don't know. That's why I think just sometimes Embrace the bivalve of your heart and let it in there. You might need it. You might need that bioavailable protein. It's so much easier to digest than beans. Who are you kidding yourself? Come on.
So the plant-based diet just needs a cooler name. That's really all it needs. And no, plant strong is not cooler. What the hell was that? It needs a cool name, like plantivore. Grass guy. So are you vegan or plant-based? Post it down below. Do you eat meat? Do you eat only meat? I swear to God right now. Yeah, I took it. So what? It was too expensive. I needed that loaf of bread. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Thanks for watching the video today. Thumbs up if you liked it. I swear to God. Thumbs down if you're corn-based. You only save corn-dwelling animals. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Samsung, oh my god, I should have went there. I bought the iPhone. This had the better camera. Oh, I regret so much in my life. God damn it. Still, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. There's no way you can see any of that, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eagles just hunting. Nine. Oh my god. They're all soaring high like lions of the sky. Wow.